In 2003, a multidisciplinary team commenced a project to develop an alternative approach to bone replacement, one that would obviate the need for bone harvesting surgery without diminishing the superior clinical outcomes associated with this technique. Using CAT scan data from an elderly patient already scheduled for this surgery to correct severe mandibular bone loss, the team isolated the defect area. Collaborations between the clinician and the computer modelers ensured the new implant would fit precisely. A path was drawn as a placeholder for an exposed nerve. Curves were drawn on the surface of the mandible to serve as the implant's congruent underside. The upper geometry was built to follow the natural line of the original bone and the surfaces were blended together. The result was a virtual implant model that would be used to fabricate the device from a scaffold built with a computer-controlled three-dimensional printer called a Robocaster. The scaffold is made primarily from hydroxyapatite, a ceramic-like substance chemically similar to human bone mineral. At the microscopic level, this material is purposely created with a porosity that encourages bone cell attachment to the implant surface. Over time, this results in new growth around and through the scaffold structure of the implant, which is eventually absorbed and overtaken by new bone. During the patient's surgery, the device was placed into the defect and proved a perfect fit. Since the device was not yet FDA approved, it was removed and used as a template for the bone graft. Bone was harvested from the hip and grafted into the defect to restore normal contour and to provide a foundation for dental implants. This first phase of the project has demonstrated the feasibility of this approach in a real clinical setting, and the team looks forward to future research.